I was kind of shocked. He was really upset. It's not something any potential college student would want to get an admissions invitation, then find out you're not in fact admitted instead on a wait list. It was really heartbreaking because I had gotten into Zach State and he hadn't gotten in. This first year student talking about her friend and one of 3500 who got letters from Sac State in March. Tuesday, the university admitted a mistake. Although no one from the university was made available for an on camera interview, in a series of email responses, a spokesman told me this was a clerical error by a staff member, and students were eventually offered admission because, quote, administrators believe it was the right thing to do and would not disrupt students' lives, as could happen if the offer was rescinded. Now, current students fear the influx may prevent them from enrolling in their preferred classes. I'm happy for the students that got off the way list but it's also like there's not really that much more space for kids to be here. Seniors get first priority then athletes then so on and so forth but freshmen get last but there, since there's so many freshmen I believe that it's going to be more hectic. The spokesman said the waitlisted admissions are not considered extra rather they filled available space at the university. He says according to preliminary figures the total increase in students this year over last is about 500 a little more than 1% and well within the university's capacity. Whatever the reason for the added classmates, students want the university to do something about it. If Sac State were to merge those into bigger classrooms, they can equip a bunch of more kids and a lot of kids wouldn't be having the, like meeting that wall of not being able to get into those classrooms. We asked the university spokesman about the increased enrollment. He said they've already added classes and faculty, but that's part of the university's natural growth, not a response to admitting the waitlisted students. Of the 3,500 students who were waitlisted and then ultimately given admission, only 700 of them, less than a quarter of them, actually enrolled in the university this semester. In Sacramento, I'm Brandi Cummings, KCRA 3 News.